Where are we at, Jerry? We're at the office. What are we doing? We're going to a meeting to meet a new screen printer. Why? Because this guy says he does all this shit that no one wants to do. So we're going to a printer, a new printer today. Uh, check out what he can do for us, see if he can help us get a little more creative with our printing side. Uh, he says he does all the stuff that all the other people don't want to do. So that might let us uh, push the envelope a little bit on our prints or uh, see what he can do. Uh, Mickey introduced me again. He said he's been printing with them. So we said at the meeting. Mickey War, back yeah. part, Mr. Fitteds. You ready to go? Uh, yeah, looks like I'm driving. I got here last, so looks like we're driving. It's 19 minutes, I'll try to get there in 10. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Heavy like that. I'm proud of what we do. We're not okay. doing any bullshit unless we're like, hey, this is some bullshit. And we don't know how to put it together. <laughs> like that's, hey, that's, but that will be no. Like, but then you start <laughs> like we start asking questions, you know, towards you, you know, someone like you, like, hey, like, how can you help? How can you help us to make sure that we're getting what we're we're trying to put down? And that's where that's what I mean about communication. Like, yeah, if you have an idea, you don't know how to do it. You see, you have a reference. Let's talk. I'd rather you yeah. tell us no than us internally be like, we can't do that. Yeah, because yeah, I'll be yeah. there like, yo, what the fuck? Like, yo, you can't do that. Like, I don't know anybody that's going to be like, fuck yeah, I'll print over the next seam. Yeah. Like, or print over the bottom seams. No one's going to be happy to do that. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's, as long I as you're okay like with a little ask. bit of air on shit like that, yeah. you know. Well, I understand it. We used to do belt prints back then when we were printing over the seams and we adjusted our artwork to fit, to fit and added fades and added... You know, distressing, distressing just to make sure it doesn't look like to limit know. those clunkiness and stuff so we we've been printing for a long time right so we know the limitations the limitations we know yes. what we can't do we know when we're asking for too much we know price points we understand right. it right uh, that's changed a little bit yeah so i was asking about pricing but if yeah i'm doing your stuff we're, we're about the same yeah. what about terms with uh yeah you know, gives me net 30. okay and with uh, Evan, I am pay at pickup. COD, COD. No yeah. deposit? No deposit. Well, I buy the blanks. But no deposit to start? No deposit to start. Really? Yeah. Maybe, the, Printed? maybe the option would be to like maybe doing puff on uh, yeah, cause something to do, like that. We're going to do a Chanel patch on that. That's a May jacket. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a Chanel patch on that. But maybe we print it. We were going to and then heat, we're going to heat press the sleeves. Yeah, but and uh, the person to do Chanel? Um, I have a guy in Carson that does all our embroidery that does Chanel. It's funny because it's literally like working backwards. Like yeah, it's, yeah. It's, Normally, it's, it's like giving it to someone that doesn't know how to print versus, you know, yeah, like if the squeegee angle is not right or the pressure is not right, because you're not printing right, but yeah. that's the effect that you want, exactly. so we'll do that, you know? Yeah. Like normally that shirt is a no-brainer for any... There are two colors. It, that one, yeah. I don't even have to do a sample. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's good to go, but now he's like, yo, I want this, and I'm like... Like why? <laughs> like people are used to buying our shit that doesn't do that. Yeah, but it's it's yeah. It's on trend right now. But now seeing like that oversized print on the front, like that really opens up our design. The cutting saw options. Uh, go go, go back and get crazy. Like yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you might unlock because a lot we were doing. Our big thing was just you know small front hit, little chest hit, yeah. and a crazy back. And then it's just like yo, like how about we just print on one side and print once. Right. And it's cheap. I was like, hey, it's cheaper. It's more like save cost. Okay. Save cost. You still sell it for the same amount. Yeah, faster production time. Faster production, and then it's like the bell went off in their brains. It was like, okay, I think we can do that. Right. And then our comments are like, yo, like, hey, you guys thought about just making like no back kids? And I love back kids because I don't like to see. I like to wear like black shirts with like, yeah, like minimal, yeah, minimal nice. stuff minimal and then the shit's on my back, I can't see it. That's how it was back in the day, man. Yeah, That's how it was back in the day, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we could just take a quick lap around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But here, look, we're putting it over the thing right now. Product good is just getting the branding out there. Yeah. Well, that's, everything's video based now, bro. Yeah. Photos don't do. Photos like trying to get impressions now. It's like people are interested in that behind the scenes about how she gets done, how she gets made. That's the more exciting part now than the polished fucking look. Yeah. I just uh, want to know what's happening. We did in it real for time. a little bit, but we started getting a lot of rare crap. I'll text 
you my email and then yeah and then uh once we have everything on our side for that design i'll send over a work order and then with the tech packs and everything attached and you okay. guys send whatever you guys need back and yeah then, uh, I when i drop off blanks i can drop off deposit check you, you prefer a check I, I mean that's just i could pay credit card is way better for me yeah we could do that all right, you cool. just get a fee though that's three percent yeah yeah, yeah credit card zell you should take crypto but no more yeah. <laughs> most, of the, most of the stuff we do is check just for this uh paper trail paper trail all right so we just visited uh screen print place it was jerry's contact and got us connected to really great guy his like real st strong thing is about communication and uh he's got things that I haven't seen anybody done before in terms of screen printing, in terms of like getting artwork onto a garment. It's pretty dope. I'm excited, excited to work on something like that. Excited for me because now I can start pushing a little bit the boundaries on uh, in terms of artwork on what we can do. Maybe you know start doing some oversized stuff that I have been trying to do and couldn't do in the past. So, want to see what happens. For here, I would just maximize it from left to right, like whatever is on the palette is yeah. basically. Your max size. I'm I not do have to go a edge concern edge. on the flower artwork. Maybe you have to get something with more detail. In it. That way you can clearly, because if this stuff ends up hiding under your arms, you can be able to tell it's a rose. Other than that, do you want? Are you interested in doing any of like that half puff? The only, uh, I guess, exception to doing maybe that like soft puff is like having this artwork, uh, the etch de ganas, go in the background, so that way this. The boulder, the, the whatever's here in the black ends up being puff. But I mean, that could be an an added cost that we don't need, you know. This one, oh, uh, is this has this changed anyway? Yeah, I changed it. So uh, from the previous one, it was a lot smaller, and there was two uh, two angels. So one was down here, and then the other one was flipped, and it was up here. Increase the size of the sworn, and now simplified it to being one angel, to where she's where this like. Uh, basically like you know highlight sun highlight even if you want to add some rays yeah i'll probably extend the rays up here yeah like especially in this area in that area yeah yeah you know I, I just gotta try it on on the computer and see how it goes yeah see look, just pull it up on the computer and then we can just look at it and be like yeah this is what it looks like here this is what it looks like there okay so that's angel down i liked how it was actually touching the o though See, that's the difference, you know, whether you want it to touch the Because that all sort of... Or not. Because then now the highlight is, you have several points of highlights where this, okay, again, this will be fixed with the with the rays coming out. Um, and she's just touching here. I think it has to touch the O. I don't know. I mean, I'm not, I'm still 50-50. Um, I gotta, I just gotta add these rays on it. But the one on the left is... That's a big print. Yeah. The one on the right is like no different than what we've been currently doing. Currently doing, yeah. Plus your width isn't anything crazy either though. No. Because your width probably going to be like 14 inches. Nah. Like sworn is probably going to be like 14, I would say like 15, maybe even 16 inches. 15, maybe. I would say 15. I, I would say at least 15. Yeah. And then so it's just gonna add on here, so you're probably looking at 18 inches wide. The style could change depending on how many colors we want to use. Yeah, because this is like the Dior shirt, right? Yeah. What does the Dior shirt look like printed? Fire, what are you doing? You're sizing out the graphic So yeah, so blank. obviously we were talking about earlier, uh, had on the screen, had the rose print. Uh, the new design that I'm coming out with, uh, with the row. So this isn't the full print, because like my printer can't print the entire thing out. Uh, but this is uh, pretty much the, uh, the 18 by 13 size of it. So just again, giving me a, a good grasp on what it's gonna look like. I just wanted to print it out to see, and put it on a, on a hoodie to see what's, you know, where, where it's gonna land at, and then figure out my placement. Uh, it looks really fucking dope. Obviously it's gonna be a really big print, and it's gonna go over you know, it's gonna go over the seam here, gonna go over the pocket there. So it's gonna be a real unique print uh, that we haven't done before. So it's gonna be dope, I'm excited. We're hitting the post office real quick. Drop off all the packages before the weekend. That way we don't have anything sitting overnight. All the tracking numbers get updated. Yeah, just a normal Friday. There goes our mailman. This guy's not so tight.
He's supposed to do a pickup for us every day and he never picks it up. He'll confirm. We get an email confirmation that says, yo, thanks for like having your packages picked up today. We get a confirmation email as soon as he leaves the uh, our complex, but never picks anything up. But anytime he calls out sick and someone takes over his route, they pick up. But I ain't no snitch, so, you know? Uh, so that's why we're out here right now, <laughs> doing that shit ourselves. Yeah. I think the printer, the new printer we met, really has me hyped to see how we can really push the envelope on some of these, like, graphics by making shit tall and wide. Well, wide is kind of, like, suggested. I mean, wide, we can't make everything wide, but we can make stuff tall. Like, this printer can print from the neck to the bottom of the t-shirt. So I'm super excited about that. That has me like the most pumped. It's a lot of logistics right now that we're working on. Well, I'm working on internally. Getting ready to do taxes, paying sales tax, prepaying sales tax. A lot of legal shit, a lot of like day to day, like very boring, not so fun stuff. Yeah, it's the shit no one talks about to... ever. No one talks about like how important it is to pay your sales tax if you have a a resale permit. A lot of people just collect, collect, collect money and uh, don't pay the sales tax. Like you're collecting that money for the local government and for uh, California. I've seen people get hit like four years later, like, hey, we need the money for four years. And those people like have closed Shopify's or whatever, and they can't really pull up records. So they just use the number that they've claimed on their tax and like, Take 10% of that. It's a not so glamorous side. No, that shit fucking business, sucks. Right? And I no haven't found a way that. to like streamline it. Yeah, it's not just about you designing, know. making cool shit. It's like, you, you gotta really get your. There's a lot of operational shit, like, yeah, that no one. Yeah. And it's How'd you learn all this shit? By not paying sales tax. <laughs> <laughs> Got the Milwaukee rep at a Home Depot. Wearing a sworn hat. Wearing a sworn hat. He says it has three of them this time. You guys own that? You guys own that one shop? Right there on Third Street? No, no, I sell there. Oh, well, yeah, I have like three of them. Oh, for real? Yeah. That's tight. That's tight. Yeah, I just popped out and I was like, oh shit, that's our hat. And we're trying to do more YouTube shit, so okay. I was like, yeah, I was like, whoa, my, I'm a Milwaukee game, bro. I got markers, flashlight, I got all that shit. That's tight. Thanks, bro. I'm Jerry, Elmer. Yeah, nice seeing you, bro. Nice hat. That was crazy. So it's cool, humbling to see people wearing our shit. Yeah, that shit was dope. It's crazy because I never really get to see it outside. We just uh, left the post office a second ago. Had to come by and get some stuff from Home Depot. Um, and as I was like, getting in the car, I look over to my left. I parked next to the Milwaukee rep. And uh, he was wearing a sworn hat. It's just tight. I don't know what store he got it though. He said something on 3rd Street. Long Beach. Yeah, East Fork Skate. But yeah. it's like, no, nah, not that spot. It's crazy. How do you feel about seeing your shit on the wild like that? It's dope. It's dope. It was like really. I literally just turned over and I was just like. Crazy. Yeah, and I the looked out my window and I was like, yo. And I had the fucking camera. It's yeah. crazy. It was. It lined up perfectly. Super organic. And he says he has three of those. Let's go. To take a gas. It's crazy. What are you working on? Finalizing the YouTube video, vlog number one. Uh, getting together all the details as far as the description, the tags, figuring out a thumbnail. Um, it's our first video out on YouTube, so we want to make a good impression. Um, the more we do these, the better it's going to get, the more quality content, the more better edits. Um, but we're pretty excited to see how this one goes. Hopefully everybody enjoys it. Hopefully we get some dope comments, let us know what they like, didn't like, mm -hmm. and we'll move forward from there. How do you think your first week back at the office went? Thank first you. week back for me personally was a little hectic. Um, obviously getting back in the swing of things, uh, other projects I had lined up also. I'm pretty sure you'll see the next coming vlogs, other stuff that kind of tied up my time. but. I'm definitely excited to get things going and you know grow this year with all the goals that we had individually and as a, as a collective. So a lot of exciting things come for sure. So first week back, how'd you go? I know you're waking up at 5 a.m. and shit, but. Uh, so yeah, so first week back, obviously changed my schedule personally. Uh, waking up at 5 a.m. It's been really tough. Got to go to sleep real early, but uh, trying to make it a real habit. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, but being back here really feels good again. Just excited about what's going to be happening this year and the things that I'm going to be able to design going forward. Tight. What's up, bro? What's up, brother? How you doing? You're in the vlog now. Vlogging? Hey, what's up? What's up, guys? I caught you in the middle of it, bro. <laughs> what's poppin'? What you doing with that? Let's get him my RC. Getting the body lines cut. Okay, bro. hobby. Get that shit out. I'm gonna ask you about it the week. Ah, you're week making him nervous, bro. <laughs> Stay hard. Blue Chew. Blue Chew. Sponsor. <laughs> hey, the honey pack? 
I don't, I don't know what they're talking about actually. First week back. First week back of 2023. I'm feeling really good about everything. Uh, the meeting with the printer really fucking was a super morale boost. It's super dope having someone that's in Los Angeles that can do crazy shit for us that we don't have to go overseas for. Morale is good. We're starting these daily vlogs, so we have a camera in our face a little bit more often. We're really taking you guys behind the scenes. I don't know, I just feel good about it. Like there's big things coming, um, collaborations coming you guys haven't heard about yet. Like, this is our year. This is the year that you're gonna be like, I mean shit, from Mellow Ball yesterday to place in the order organically, we were just at Home Depot and like the Milwaukee rep. It's the universe, bro. That's part of his uniform. That's crazy. The sign. And I felt good. So feeling super good about everything. Let's go. 2023.